up you guys it's me again I'm coming back to you because today I have a very special video for you guys today to see to introduce you to somebody that's very important in my life um it's my grandmother so I made a video with her today we kind of did some stuff I should have vlogged it but I didn't um but it's a short little video about life life in general she has a lot to offer so I wanted to be able to share that with a lot of women young girls whatever I wanted to be able to share that with people so me and my grandmother are going to be making videos every single Monday. And with that, it's going to come a story, a joke, maybe a skit, whatever. But we're going to do it, y'all. So if you are interested and you are looking forward to these videos and getting to know my grandmother and me a little bit more, then you guys know what to do. Stay tuned. Hi, everybody. It's Taylor Kagan, and I am here with my grandmother. Hello. So I am introducing her to my page. I'm going to be doing more videos with her and we'll see where this goes so today we have a segment I guess you can say is question of the day so I'm gonna ask my grandmother a question and she's going to answer the question truthfully and honestly, honestly I have no idea what this question is gonna be but all right all right grandmother so to help the ladies out who are in relationships what would you say how can you tell a man really loves a woman what would you give that advice to them about what would you say ah uh, let's see there's some signs I would say that if a man is patient with you mm -hmm. and if he sacrifices for you uh, if he's honest and keeps his word mm -hmm. with you mm -hmm. And uh, a thing that women should look for, all young women should look for, is how does he treat his mother? He'll never treat you any better than he treats his mother. Okay. So how, what is his mother and his relationship like? Mm -hmm. Not being a mama's boy, but just respecting his mother. And uh, does he care about your problems? Does he take time to listen? Because that's kind of hard for men to do. They like to solve problems quickly and not listen. Mm -hmm. But he'll take time and listen with you. Mm -hmm. Okay? And you can start to tell if this man is truly... Because um, a man will only change for one woman in his life. And if he'll make some changes for you, things that irritate you, if he'll make those changes, you might have a keeper there. So, if you guys understand that and you hear that, that is an advice from, it's not even advice, it's wisdom. She's been through life. I'm not going to tell you her age, but she already knows everything. So, it's either your choice to listen to it or it's your choice to not listen to it. Okay. But, grandmother, if you have a little bit of a, because I know you like to tell your stories. Yes. So, if you want to tell them a story. Um, this okay. is a story. And it's kind of strange. You had to put yourself back in maybe the Civil War days or something like that. Some long ago time. And so, this is a story about a lady. Okay. This is a story she was concerning her son had been to war. And the war was over. And her son would be coming home. And in those days, people walked home. They would be walking down the road. So every day... She would look for her son. Every day she was hoping that he was coming in. And instead, here would come this old man. Every day she would bake bread and the old man would say, Oh ma'am, I'm so hungry. I haven't eaten in a long time. Can I please have that loaf of bread that you're baking? And so the old lady would give him the loaf of bread, but she became irritated every day. The same thing, down the road came the old man. Oh ma'am, I'm so hungry. Can I please have that loaf of bread that you're baking? I, I haven't eaten. And she would give him the loaf of bread. And as she became more irritated, she said, How can I get rid of this old man? I'm tired of him taking my loaves of bread. This bread is for my son. I want to have this loaf of bread baked when my son comes home. I need to get rid of this old man. So in her heart, she says to herself, I think I will poison this loaf of bread. So she baked a loaf of bread, she put poison in it, and sure enough, down the road came the old man. Oh, ma'am, I'm so hungry, I haven't eaten. Can I please have that loaf of bread that you baked? She gladly gave it to him with a chuckle in her heart. This is the end of the old man. And she went in to her house. The next day, down the road, 
she's seen a figure coming. Oh my, here comes that. This must be my son. This must be my son. And happiness filled her heart. And she ran out into the road, but the closer the figure got, it was the old man. She ran out in the road to meet him. Old man, old man, did you eat that loaf of bread I gave you yesterday? He said, oh no, ma'am. There was a poor soldier coming down the road. He was so hungry. He was so tired. I gave him that loaf of bread, and he sat down, and he ate it. So the moral of the story is, I hope you guys get your moral from the story. We plan evil in our hearts for someone else. Uh, you know that evil can backfire? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Mine too, she's going to tell us a few jokes. She knows them. So, grandmother, go yep. ahead and tell your jokes. Okay. This joke is about a little old lady. She's sitting on her front porch rocking in her rocking chair. And her husband had passed away, and she said, she's holding his urn, and she says, well, George, you done gone on. And she said, but I just want you to know, I took a little bit of that insurance money, mm -hmm. and I brought me that mink coat that you always promised me. Mm -hmm. Hot dog. Yes, mm -hmm. girl. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. And then, George, I just want you to know, I took a little more of that insurance money, and I brought me that Cadillac Ooh. that you always promised me. Girl. And she rocked a little more. And she said, and George, here is that blowjob that I always promised you. <laughs> <laughs> so this is what we have for Mondays. This is what's going to be happening on Mondays now because it's our both of our days <laughs> off. So we'll come with you guys or come to you guys with different videos that we have. And I hope you guys look forward to seeing them. And hopefully videos. my hair will be done. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching, by the way. Bye.